This is the Deli Pauls from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman. I want to talk to you today about tools. And my father was a huge tool guy. I mean, he had every, pretty much every tool known to man, you know, as far as construction and carpentry. There just was nothing my dad couldn't do it, as I shared with you in previous Deli Pauls and as I shared in my father's celebration service on May 13, 2011. My father was a jack of all trades and master of all. He was just so good at so many things. And one of Dad's maxims, you know, one of the sayings that he hit, held on to and, and held very tightly was, if you're going to use a tool once, buy it and buy the best one you can. You know, my father would not buy, you know, and again, he had been bitten because he bought junky tools or tools that wouldn't last. So he would save up for that tool and he would buy the best. And eventually, I think my father had probably close to $125,000 worth of tools down in his basement. I mean, he just was a master. Norm Abrams had nothing on my father. So, you know, as I was considering tools, you know, I, I automatically, you know, buy the best. And I kind of view scripture as that, you know, Psalm 119.105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. You know, as far as buying the best tool, if you, you know, as far as running across tools, you know, the Bible, God's word is the best tool that's out there. I mean, and there's nothing better. You know, so if you run across this, you know, if you run across a scripture that, that, that strikes you, you know, no tempt, you know, First Corinthians ten thirteen, no temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful; He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out, so that you can stand up under it. Put that in your toolbox, memorize it, meditate it on it, write it on a piece of paper or on a note card and affix it to the, the you know to your steering wheel or, or, or to, to the mirror with some of your shaving or just have it someplace where you can see it and that's the way I think good tools work and God's scripture has so many tools in there so many verses that can help us so again taking my dad's advice to heart it is great for good tools but the best tool we have available is God's word use it meditate on it pray on it and just ask God for wisdom in Jesus name amen